Greetings everyone. Fulya Çelikel aka Dr. Synth Lady from KB331 Audio. I am here to present some news about Synthmaster 1 which works as a desktop DST plugin and audio unit within any DAW also runs on the iPad and even your iPhone for designing sounds on the go and syncing with your desktop projects. Recently, we have implemented VST3 support, so you can seamlessly run Synthmaster 1 within Steinberg Cubase 12 or any other DAW you might be using. As a CPU-friendly, fully synthesized instrument, Synthmaster 1 has more than 2,000 sounds that lend themselves well for contemporary genres. You might rightfully think that it is very hard to keep track of so many sounds, so recently we have rendered Synthmaster 1 compatible with Native Instruments NKS system. Each sound that we have within Synthmaster 1 now comes with a preview according to its characteristic properties. You can filter immediately by choosing what you are looking for. For example, I would like to look for organs that have a pipe organ quality, so I'm choosing subtype pipe. And I would like them to be sounding analog. So the list has narrowed down to just three. And to preview them one by one, I just click on them. This one I rather like, so to load it, I just double click. And it is playable. However, the true power of the NKS integration is the ability to control Synthmaster 1 directly from the hardware. I have a complete control S61 here and you can browse, edit and perform it any Synthmaster 1 sound without taking your hands and attention off the keyboard. Let me demonstrate how to browse through presets and edit presets using just the keyboard's controls now. So in order to control Synthmaster 1 from the keyboard, go to browser. This is the entire list of Synthmaster 1 sounds. So I have 1230 here. These are the factory presets. To hear them, Just hover on them. You could also use the wheel. This I rather like. So to load, you could either use the knob here or just press. So now it's all loaded and ready to be played. But there is, of course, even more. To demonstrate what these knobs can do, let me just look for an arpeggiated sound. To do that, I go back to my browser and from types, I look for synth miscellaneous melodic sequences. So for characters, I just go for arpeggiated ones. My list has narrowed down to 124. Let's just hear them. I really like this one, so I load it. And once it's playable, have the option to manipulate its parameters using the knobs here. The very first page consists of effects on and off, for example. If you could look at the effects on the screen, once I turn them off, after a given value, the effects knob is going to turn off. So let's turn them on now. This is without the effects. So there's the master volume, the velocity curve, the filter, 
but there is more detail of course each and every tab consists of another set of parameters and these are each custom designed per preset so this one for example gives me more control on the left screen for oscillator 1 and on the right screen for oscillator 2 let's hear for example oscillator pitch <laughs> was to pan oscillator 1 towards left and pan oscillator 2 towards right but there's even more we could do for example you can change oscillator algorithms here how many voices you have but I'm actually going to look for the filters and get you to hear how easy it is to manipulate the cutoff and resonance <laughs> Actually, you have even the choice to manipulate the arpeggio directly from here without looking at any MIDI, without clicking anything, without taking your hands off the keyboard and touching the mouse or your keyboard. Let's just find out. The very same arpeggio. <laughs> I'm going to change the swing. Also shifted the duration. So there is so much you could do while performing to shift how your preset sounds like. And this is only by pressing a single key. So if you want to start from scratch, you could choose from your list of instruments KV331 audio and from products in Master 2 or 1. So once you have Synthmaster 1 running, the entire list of factor presets, 1230 to be exact, will be available here. And you also have the option to change presets by loading them using these two buttons. <laughs> It's a slower way of circling within presets. It's always easier to use the previews and even better to use, of course, the filter according to types. Okay, so now I look for some bout strings that have a synthetic quality. I have 28 results. Some are pads, some are leads. So actually Synthmaster 1 also gives you as a syntax, what kind of sound is to be expected from its name? Let's hear a few pads. So I like this one, so I'm going to mark it a favorite. And therefore, I will be finding it easily with the favorites button. As you can see, it is now available there. And I just want to load. Okay. 
It's quite lovely. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so. I want it to be louder. Here's my master volume already. As you can see, I can directly manipulate the ADSR envelope from here and the synth response. And this is only the first page, so there is more detail in each set of knobs to be assigned. So let's just look at the filter directly. So this, for example, lets me manipulate my LFO. This is not the same set of assignments for each preset. The presets are different from each other, different categories, and so will the knob assignments be. We have individually handled them one by one to give you the perfect way of playing through your hardware. We are quite proud of our synth and happy to see that the enthusiasm we have for it is shared by a large community. Synthmaster 1 was elected the fourth best without us even promoting it in Music Radar's best synth plugin of 2019. I can say this confidently because we were busy asking the, our user base support for Synthmaster 2.9 itself, which ranked number one. Thank you for exploring this demo and enjoy making music with Synthmaster 1 now with full NKS capabilities.